Remember, we stored those 10 podcast details in Superbase. Now it's time to actually query them and see semantic search in action. First, we need a search query. Let's type space, exploration, and aliens. Step one, convert the query into an embedding, just like we did with our stored content. Step two, compare the query vector against all the vectors in our database to find closest match. This uses an algorithm called cosine similarity. Sounds scary, but Superbase handles it for us. We create a SQL function called match documents that compares vectors and returns similarity scores. The function takes three parameters, the query embedding, a match threshold, and how many results you want. I set the threshold to 0.5 and match count to one. Let's run it. And boom, we get back beyond Mars with an 85% similarity score. Even though our query shares no exact keywords. Let's try, what should I listen to in half an hour? It matches the soundscape of silence. The 13 minute podcast, it understood the time context. Try understanding whale communication. It finds sounds of the sea. Again, perfect match by meaning. But search training puppies. With our limited data, it struggles. It returns whale podcast because it's the only animal related content. The similarity score drops to 73%, telling us it's not a great match. This is vector similarity search in action, understanding meaning, context, and intent. Next, let's build something real with this, searching through actual documents and getting smart answers.